Hello everyone, it's Grumpy Gamer. Welcome to the Let's Play of Mountain Blade Warband. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Now, it was suggested to me that I play multiplayer, and it's also suggested that I do it with some mods. I chose to go with the vanilla because I've never played this game. I want to experience the um, vanilla version first. Now, this right here, I'm not going to read all the text in this game. It's, it's just uh, some people like that, some people don't. If you like to see all the text, all you have to do is hit the space bar. It'll pause the video on YouTube. This right here is just telling me that it's gonna, I'm going to have a harder time if I pick a female character because they're going for realism. And so we'll pick male. And I want to be a thief. And secondly, the reason I, I chose to do single player instead of multiplayer, I played this game for a couple hours, tried to get the hang of it before I went to multiplayer. Realized it's a very hard game. And I was really enjoying the single player. If I do the multiplayer, I'm going to get my ass kicked over and over by people who have been playing this game four or five years. So we're just going to go single player. Uh, I'm going to pick, uh, want to know my background, I'm going to pick Street Urchin. And now they want to know my background, I'm going to go with... Hmm. I'm going to go with a game poacher. I'm just going to be a low life in this game. I want to rape, pillage, murder, steal, all that kind of stuff. And now they want to know, uh, this didn't work out for me. What's motivating me to move on? It's lust for money and power. And so now we're ready to become an adventurer and ride to your destiny. And here they want to know, do I want to go for realistic saves or allow me to quit without saving? So in other words, if you get your ass kicked, can you just quit the game? Or is it going to autosave? I'm going to go with the realistic, so if I get my ass kicked... Um, basically, it's, I'll have to deal with it. Okay, now, here, I get to spend points and different points to do different things, raise different skills. This one's going to raise shield, athletics, riding, horse archery, looting. Um, I don't really like these stats. I'm putting three points there. And the reason I'm putting three points there because I want to raise leadership. I like a high leadership. You know what that does? It lets me ha it allows me to have a bigger party with me. And I want to put one point in prisoner management. And what that's going to do is allow me to take prisoners. Each point I put in that allows, allows me to have five prisoners. I want to put some in prisoner and in inventory management. That's going to let me carry more loot. I've got one point left to spend over here. Hate to do it. Let's just put one point in. Uh, crap, it's hard to say. I'll put one point in intelligence. Hopefully, I'll get to put points in this later on. I'm not sure. Okay, and I got three points left to spend. Um, spotting is a good one. Uh, it's maxed out. Okay, pathfinding. I like that. Increases my movement speed. And tracking, that's a good one too. Training is a good one. Actually, that's a tough call there. We will go with training. And what that's going to do is give my guys experience. If anybody's in my party is lower level than me, they'll get experience every day from that. Okay, now i got to pick a secondary. With secondary skills over here. We're going to go with... Uh, uh, I really like these pole arms. They're good if you suck because they're they got a long range to them, so you can get a few waxing on guy before he gets to you. Okay, now I got to pick uh, my skin. I'll just basically just create my character here. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah, he looks okay. I don't like the beard. I got some stupid looking beards in this game and mustaches. Man, I either look like a Grizzly Adams or a, a weirdo. I don't like the hair either. We'll get there in a second. I'll know it when I see it. I actually like the previous one. I wish they had a back button, but they don't. I'm not going to go all the way through them again either. 
Yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, now I'm just going to change his face up a little bit. Not sure what I'm going to change. I'm going to change his eyebrow shape. If you look at that, it makes him look kind of pouty. And if you raise it to the right, kind of makes him look a little more uh, aggressive. That's good enough. I was like, eh, it don't really matter. You don't really pay attention to that too much in these type of games. You end up looking at the back of your head most of the time. Okay, now I just get to pick my starting area. There's six kingdoms. Um, I'm going to go with... Let's go with the Sultanate. That's going to be like an Arab desert setting. We'll go with that. And that just tells me about my journey to the place I'm going. Ooh, I like this. Kind of got a desert feel to it. Oh, crap. All I got is throwing knives. Well, you don't need to get a shot off. Now and I will. Too little, too late. Does he got anything I can loot? Uh... Okay, this guy here, same as before, he's just telling me that, uh, he's taking me, he's a merchant, he's taking me for killing the thief. And now he's going to take me to his house so he can talk to me. Now let me explain my proposition. I can say, pause if you want to read that, but he says ba bandits killed his brother. Now I'm not reading this because this is the second time through and apparently this is the same as before. Even though I'm, I didn't, I started off in Swadia, so I wanted to try some place I've never been, but the quest is the same. And so basically, I'm interested in the quest, and then he gives me some money and tells me to go round up five men because I can't handle it alone. So now we're going to leave here. Actually, I'm going to go back to town here. And we're going to go visit the marketplace. And we're going to trade with armor merchant. We'll trade one of those. Oh, i got to equip my bow. I like the bow better than the throwing knives. I don't know. I was actually doing pretty good with the throwing knives. But... Now, for some reason, gloves are extremely expensive, and they give very little bonus, so it's kind of like a, almost a vanity item. But I'm going to pick a hat. Uh, I'm pick something with a decent armor. That looks good. Crude male coif. I kind of like, well, if I'm going to be an Arab, I kind of like these. Uh, that's a lot of money, but we'll go for it. Oh yeah, I like that look. That's a good bandit look. At least, I don't know, they sure got some other cool ones there. Ooh, I like this one even better, but that's way out of my price range. Okay, let's uh go ahead and do that. Okay, now I can go to a goods merchant. I just want to sell my other stuff. I got an axe. I don't remember having an axe, but we're going to sell that. Only brings nine, but oh well. Now, you could be, a tr you could be with this if your game is very open ended. You can pick whatever skill you uh, uh, root in life you want. Like, I'm going to just be a bandit and a low life and go from there, but you could be a, tra a trader, uh, you know, running a caravan, or you can help the king by well I'm moving fast I recruited three guys there cool you can help the king you can get a castle you can get married you can be a good guy bad guy bandit bounty hunter it's very open ended and so right now I just need to recruit five guys 
And you got to go to these villages to recruit them. I seem to be moving a lot faster than I used to on the first time I played the game. I must have a faster horse or something. This looks so cool. Cool, so I got four volunteers there. Um, I actually got enough, but as long as I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and recruit some more people from these one or two little towns here. Oh yeah, we got seven guys there. And these guys are pretty good too, because what happens is you'll get raided by bandits and there's usually like seems like there's eight to twelve of them in a party. So if you get a few more guys then they won't mess with you. You'll be the hunter, not the hunted. One more town. I like this desert. It's a lot better than other place I went to. Cool, okay, so now we got some guys. And let's go click on our party. It's show me how much money I got left. The weekly cost of my troops is only 23, so that's pretty good. But, uh, yeah, you can see all my skills here and everything. Tracking kind of sucks, but spotting and pathfinding are pretty good, so is looting. Well, there we got some looters. Let's go hunt them down. I can't tell if I'm... Oh, yeah, I'm gaining ground on them. Slowly but surely, I don't know where they're going. Pretty much going off the map. Surrender or die. Okay, I'm going to charge at them. You can either charge at them or order your troops to fight without you. But It's a let's play. I want to see a, at least one battle. Oh yeah, I like this desert battle. I was in Swadia the first time. It was all mountains. It was sucked. You couldn't see. And there'd be a map between you and them and you had to climb it. And You, you move at a slow pace when you're going uphill. And it was steep hills. So here we go. I'll just have to get lucky and see if I can kill somebody. Oh, well, he didn't like that. <laughs> Better run. He's gonna chase me down. But actually, that's kind of cool when they chase you down because that means your guys aren't having to fight them. You're kind of dividing and conquering. Yeah, we we are owning these guys. That battle's already over. Battles do get a lot bigger. Okay, I lost two guys, and that's not bad. Now I can capture these guys. No idea what to do with them, but we'll go ahead and capture them. And some of my guys leveled up. I can upgrade them to footmen. Okay, so let's see. We got seven footmen now. They're on up. You gain experience and so do your troops. And so what ends up happening? Oh, yeah, that's a lot better than what we got. What ends up happening is um, every time they level up, you get to, to decide what new class they're going to get. They can change classes. So let me just grab this loot. I'm not going to grab all of it, just most of it. And it looks like they they group it by cost. So um, the top is the most expensive stuff. The bottom is junk loot. So I won't even bother with that. Let me check out uh, a horse. Yeah, he don't look too bad. And so I got also got 53 din dinar for doing that. And as you see my tracking. Oh, cool! It tells you there was a battle here. But my tracking skill is kind of low, so it just tells me I see tracks. If I had a better skill, it would tell me how long ago they were through here and how many were in the party. So now, 
I gotta figure out what to do with these prisoners. Um, yeah, I recruited out of all these towns, so I'm just going back to where I came from. Make sure right there, it says 24 plus 4. The 24 is how many is in my party, and that's how many prisoners I'm carrying. So you can also look at other people, and it'll pretty much give you the same stats. Like, there's 10 farmers there. I'm not sure what the color means, whether it's the... Whether they're neutral or hostile, or just how hard of a fight it would be. I'm not sure. They should be pretty easy, so I don't know why that... I'm not sure how that works. And I need to go back to... I believe I started off in Shariz. Now, hold on a second. Let me pause it. Um, this guy right here. Emir Uqua's party. I have no idea what it even is. I don't know if he's emperor or what, but... Whenever you see a flag over somebody's head... That's royalty and... and they're going for they're either patrolling or they might be going to a battle or something but at this stage in the game if you see a flag above uh, on somebody's head above their head they're going to be able to whip your ass so so now I'm just going to go sell the loot I got I didn't get anything special this is stuff to sell Now, I like this. Uh, throwing knives, I'll go ahead and get rid of them. I'm not going to use throwing knives. Uh, I may keep that just as... Oh, I can't use that. Actually, let's go back down here. I can't use that sword, so let me recover a, a, some weapon that I can use. Uh, let's just get this rusty axe. There we go. Now, I only received 60, but I had 60 I didn't have before. And now, I, like, if I wanted to be a merchant and there's the trade goods, I can go here and buy trade goods. And then there's another deal where you can assess the local prices. And what it'll do is it'll tell you what you need to buy here and where you need to sell it to make a big profit. But we might try that in another episode. And so this looks like a good place to actually... No, I, I think i got a little more time. Let's go to... Uh, actually, let's go back to here. We go to the tavern first. Now, they, the, the merchant, he's at the tavern. You start off in his house. For some reason, you got to go to the tavern to... Ooh, I like this. This is cool looking. Mercenary horseman. I might be able to recruit him. Me and five of my mates are looking for Master will join for 1596 Ooh, that's expensive. Wandering farmer, wandering now. Here's the merchant. Okay, now I can tell him I want to go hunt the bandits. Let's see with the tavern keeper. Now I can go get quests and stuff, but um, I'm not going to do that yet. They're opening the game so you can either take quests or you can go off and do your own thing. I'm just going to go off and do my own thing. Well, I will do this quest for this guy here, though, but. Not that I care about his brother, but he's pagan. There they are over there. There's four guys over here in the blue. That's the band of robbers. They're dumb enough just to stand there, so we'll fight them. Now, here's the thing, too. I can order my troops to attack without you, so. If it's just a little battle like this, there's no reason to watch. I got 20-something guys. He has four, so you avoid a lot of load screen stuff. I did lose one guy, but that's okay. It's kind of like the same way they did it in Rome Total War. If you, some battles you want to fight, some battles you don't. Okay, I do get one looter. No idea what to do with him, but we'll go ahead and capture him. And I got some more guys leveled up. No, I got nine footmen. And ideally, you want to try to keep your guys alive because they will keep leveling up and leveling up. And now when you go inside taverns, there's special NPCs in there. And what you can do with those guys is um, recruit them. And they're kind of like, um, 
well, they're they're better than your standard troops, and you can actually put. Uh, they'll have inventory slots like you do, and you can give them armor and stuff, and they give you bonuses. Kind of cool. Okay. That's the kingdom of the Rodox. Oh, wait a minute. He told me how to get to the Bandit Slayer, I believe. There, I can. What's cool here is I can just click to different things, and they're gonna tell me where to uh, go. Okay, it's right here, right over the little hill. I don't know. I'm really thinking the color is. Well, I'm not sure. Ooh, these guys are running from me. Yeah, you better run. I'm not hunting them down because they're evil. I'm hunting them down. The reason I'm hunting down looters is because I won't. I, I won't take a faction hit. I want to stay friendly in my own territory. Um, we're gonna go ahead and fight this one out. But if I t fight looters in my own territory, I'm just after the loot. So I won't take a faction hit. I don't necessarily have to stay friendly to my uh, own kingdom. I'm actually not from here. If you actually re if you read the beginning, I'm from somewhere else, and I took a a ride to get here. So I'm in an Arabic country. I don't. Even, I'm don't. Even, I'm not even an Arab. So now, if you see these guys chase me, that's a good thing. All I'm doing is running around, drawing their attention. And divide and conquer. If they're dumb enough to follow me, it's giving my other guys time to gang up on the other people. Doesn't make for the most exciting battles, but. There we go. As soon as my guys start cheering, the battle's over. And I get a message there saying we won. And see, I didn't take any casualties. So there is an advantage to fighting yourself. It's kind of like Rome Total War 2. There's some battles I'd fight in Rome Total War. I'd be outnumbered 2 to 1, and I'd fight, and I would just whoop their ass. Okay, here we go. I can upgrade these guys to skirmishers. Skirmishers are archers, more or less. And I can upgrade some of these guys. And looters, I don't think I can carry any more looters. No. Nope. No, nope. more loot. They have very good loot, but it's loot. And I think these props here, I don't think that's what you're actually going to get. That's what it's worth, and they're going to screw you over. You know how RPGs go. Okay, now I need to keep going. What is that? Looters. Oh, I guess four of them got away. I'll let them go. They're not worth the trouble. And here's the band the kidnappers hideout right in front of me. I noticed too you move slower at night. I, I don't know. It's a lot slower actually noticeable. And as soon as the sun comes up, it's like I took a potion of speed or something. So let's go ahead and attack the hideout. Here we go. Yeah, this desert's pretty cool. Oh, I gotta see what my guy looks like. Oh yeah, I like that. Almost got a ninja look. I do look Arab. I guess I could be Arab. I don't care. So they gave myself a cool evil name be Akbar the destroyer or something like that well damn there's the hideout let's see if we're oh there's the guy finally
Damn, I couldn't hit a brass out of the barn with this. With this bow. What makes it hard is your guys are in the way and I'm worried about hitting one of my guys. There we go, we got a sucker. God damn it. Get the fuck out of the way. Oh. My guys are in the way again. Maybe this time. Come on, let me get him on. Let me get one shot off. I can't tell if I. I can't really tell if I hit him. But fuck it. I mean, I'm trying to hit one of my own guys. Uh, no, I don't want to kill a footman. If he's just a militia, I'd kill him for target practice. But one of the benefits of being evil. You use your guys for target practice. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, it's his brother. Oh, thanks for saving me. Nobody cares. Man, my guy looks cool. That was just blind luck, man. I, I gotta st stick with wearing that, man. That looks neat. Ooh, that's nice. Can't use it though. My strength's too low. Yeah, that's some good loot. What is that? 24? Slightly better than what I got. I'm probably not going to be able to carry too much more stuff. Yeah, the rest is scrub loot. Oh, well, loot's loot. Oh, okay. Now I can't. That's it. I'm loaded down. So now I got to go back to turn that quest in. But I've been recording a little while. Probably went over my time limit. I'm not sure. But we'll see you next time. Next time I'm going to go turn this quest in. And then we're gonna, just going to go open world and just do whatever. Go raping and pillaging. But uh, I think I've already said this. I don't remember. But this Let's Play is only going to go until October 1st. So it's going to last a little over a month. October 2nd. War of the Roses comes out. Uh, I think it's supposed to be like the sequel to this game. Problem with this game is it doesn't have an end. It's open-ended and you can play on forever and ever. You just keep going around killing stuff, looting up, that kind of thing. But um, That will give me a good arbitrary place to stop. October 1st, I'll stop. October 2nd, I'll start the LP of the new game. But anyway, let me know what you think about this LP. Got any advice, suggestions, things you want to see me do or not do. Just keep in mind I'm going to be evil. I'm going to want to be doing a lot of raiding, pillaging, robbing, that kind of thing. Kind of be like Genghis Khan, just go around building up a horde and just move on from place to place. I'm just going to keep friendly with one kingdom. There's six different kingdoms. I'm going to stay friendly with one. It'll be kind of like my base of operations. I'm kind of actually thinking this place right here may not be a good place because this is on the edge. If you look at it, there's nothing out there. I think all the other kingdoms are this way, so... I think probably uh, in the middle, uh, some kingdom in the middle, probably a better f to stay friends with and be a base of operations. And that way I can just strike out in any direction from it. By the way, it's Grumpy Gamer. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.